Hi, my name is Angela Cavalieri. I'm a teacher and IB coordinator here at Heritage Regional High School. Today, I'd like to provide you with an overview of some of the main components of our program. You'll also be hearing from some of our students who are eager to share examples of experiences that they've undergone in their journey in the IB program. Here at Heritage, our focus has always been to encourage lifelong learning, international mindedness, and service to each other and our community. Currently, IB provides an educational framework and common assessment to thousands of schools across the world. That's important for you to know because we are part of this world-renowned organization. It also tells you that Heritage is an IB certified school and that means that our teachers are continuously developing and investing in professional development so that we stay on top of the best teaching practices and those teaching practices translate directly into exceptional learning experience for our students. We're also evaluated every five years. This is to ensure that we deliver the program in the way that it is intended to be, by respecting the standards and the practices within the program. It's kind of like getting a report card. It gives us a great idea of what we're doing very well, and it also gives us a roadmap and points us in the direction of things that we could be doing even better. An easy way to remember IB at Heritage is to consider that we have three building blocks. Academics, which are based on exploring big issues through conceptual understanding, learning skills, and character development. The academic program in IB is a stimulating one. It certainly challenges our students, but it is a program for everyone. We offer two groups at every level in IB. The groups are divided according to the selection of French agreed upon by the parents. Every year we try to make sure that we respect the parents' wishes and often, magically, it comes out uh, true. It is realistic. So if your child is in the French Enriched program, the bulk of their courses are in English, except for their French course. If the child is in the Français Langue Maternelle program, or French Mother Tongue, then all of their courses are in English, except for Science et Technologie, Ethic, Géographie, Histoire. This can be a real plus in secondary one and two for students to extend their learning of the French language. We also offer Spanish, a third language, and that can be a real plus in the 21st century, especially for students who opt to go on the humanitarian trip in secondary three. Students who opt to go on that trip are chaperoned by teachers and are billeted with Spanish-speaking families in countries like Costa Rica, Ecuador, and Guatemala. We also offer design, which is unique to IB. It's a course specifically designed to introduce students to a methodology, a design cycle, and to become problem solvers. We also understand that to be creative and to have creative outlets is an important factor. So at every level, students can take dance, they can take visual arts, and they can also take drama. Because the academics can be challenging for some, we also want to make sure that our students have specific learning skills. We call these the approaches to learning. These skills support and scaffold the learning to help students apply what they're learning in concrete and real ways. Some of the skills that are deemed essential to 21st century learners are the ability to communicate effectively, the ability to collaborate, the ability to take those big ideas and transform them and apply them in different situations. The idea behind the learning skills is that we truly believe that how students learn is just as important as what they learn. The third building block that is really dear to us is character development. Through our volunteer component, our yearly volunteer component, through enrichment activities and outings, we want to make sure that the students are able to become the best people that they can be. IB, in fact, has identified 10 specific learner traits. These are attributes, personal attributes and qualities that young people develop over time. Um, qualities such as being principled, being an academic risk taker, being open-minded to different cultures and different ways of learning. We honestly believe that through their years in IB, they have many opportunities to develop their personal selves. There's a great deal to discuss in IB. Uh, and I'm really hoping that our students are able, our student presenters are able to give you an opportunity to get a glimpse into the activities and the values that they have come to appreciate over the years. The journey does begin in secondary one, 
and much of the learning and much of the values have already been incorporated into a young person's life at home. The MYP program or middle years program is designed specifically for teenagers or young learners between the ages of 11 and 16. We want to make sure that that young person is at the center of their own learning and that they thrive in an environment that allows for them to grow academically, physically, socially, and personally. In secondary five, our students undertake a personal project, an independent personal project, where they can celebrate and showcase their accomplishments at our IB Fair and are able to share with our community what they've learned through their knowledge, through their skills, and through their personal qualities. I hope that you will apply to our program. Applications will be available online shortly. Um, please keep an eye on our website for application procedures and deadlines. You can also contact me for additional information at acavalieri at rsb.qc.ca. Um, by all means, please call me if you would like additional information. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Veronica and I'm currently a student in the Secondary 5 IB program. Hi, I'm Cedric and I'm also currently a Secondary 5 student in the IB program. Before coming into this program, I wasn't too sure what to expect, but throughout these five years of being in the IB program, I realized that I grew so much of who I was from before. I totally agree with Cedric. Looking back at everything now, I feel like in Sec 5, I matured so much, and I think that's partially due to the fact that I was in the IB program. It helped me mature. It helped me become a more well-rounded person. What's really amazing about the personal project in IB is that it's so personal to you. For example, Cedric's personal project can be completely different to my personal project. For example, in my project, I want to demonstrate the indirect and direct effects of racism in today's society. This issue is so important to me because my father comes from Trinidad, so I have personally seen the effects, but I don't think everyone has seen those effects. So for my project, I really want to focus on educating other people on how racism still exists here in Canada in 2020. And the project might seem very big and very scary, but trust me, throughout your five years, there's going to be so many things that help you to come to this stage, and you should not be stressed about it. We have the design project or class in secondary three, and in that class, we create products and solve problems, which is basically exactly what the project is. Hi, I'm Angie. And I'm Phil. And we're students in secondary four IB in French mother tongue at Heritage Regional High School. Although our journey in IB isn't quite finished yet, we would like to share with you some of the experience we've had. Something that IB has to offer is the IB exclusive trips. My favorite trip ha by far has to be Boston. In the Boston trip, we got to visit the glorious city of Boston and also get to know our classmates much better. This was a really fun experience and my favorite part would probably be, have to be Fenway Park. Fenway Park was so nice, we got to see its history and it's the green monster and it was all around the best. And also, another activity we uh, did was to go see the New England Aquarium. We got to see up close the sea creatures that live in the Boston Harbor, and that was very fascinating. What particularly drew me to this program was the service and action aspect. Every year we are given a certain amount of community and service hours that we must complete and reflect upon. In Secondary 2, we pioneered an activity called Volunteer Day. On this day, 65 students 10 teachers all went to seven different locations for the day. I went to La Mission Nouvelle Génération, a food bank in Brossard, where we helped prepare the process of food pickup for those who were less fortunate. After the day, we came back and we all grouped together and shared our experiences and committed to making a change. This was such an amazing experience because we got to meet new people, hear their stories, and really lend, give back to our community. And this also helped in attaining international mindedness, which is a multi-face and concept, a complex concept. However, it's basically about being able to reflect upon our actions and keep our mind open for new possibilities. Le programme international de Heritage offre aussi une option de français langue maternelle. Ce programme suit aussi le même curriculum que tous les autres écoles secondaires au Québec en français. De plus, Tous les, les élèves de secondaire 1 et 2 suivront les cours de sciences et géographie et histoire en français. In conclusion, the IB program creates internationally aware and open-minded students that will become lifelong learners. Thank you, and we hope to see you next year. 
Hi, my name is Emma. I am in Sec 3 in the IB program. So the reason I wanted to go into the IB program is because we get to learn about ourselves and grow as a person. We also have amazing opportunities. We have Spanish and design class depending on our grade level. And we also get to do service in action. So for example, last year we went to the CH SLD to perform a Christmas choreography for the elderly. See their smiling faces and excitement, it truly made my day. We also get to go on amazing trips. So in Sec 1, I went to Boston. But the point that I wanted to focus on the most was how we were so lucky to have Pratt & Whitney come to our school. So Pratt & Whitney is a Canadian-based aircraft engine manufacturer. So they wanted to see how we use collaboration in our everyday lives. They asked us questions and were really interested to hear our voice. I will definitely remember that moment for the rest of my life. All I know is that being an IB has made my high school experience memorable and I can't wait to see what is next to come. I'm Annie Marceau and uh, I'm Emma's mom and I'm very happy that Emma chose to be part of the IB program and one of the things that I really like about the program is that uh, Emma has developed uh, many different traits. Uh, for me, those are what uh, stays with you afterwards once you graduate uh, high school and when you go into post-secondary studies. Uh, uh, so she has learned to be a risk taker. So as part of the IB component, she has to do service and action hours. So she participated in our community in uh, La Grande Guignolée. So it's an organization that raises money for a family in need uh, at the time of uh, Christmas. And she went from door to door to sing some Christmas carols. And at first it was uh, very, uh, she was very nervous about it, but uh, she, she did it uh, and um, she, she loved it at the end. So uh, another thing that uh, she did too, so she's really learning to be uh, a good communicator. Uh, she has to present often in her class. And also last year, she was part of the open house at her school. And she had to answer parents' questions about the program. And she did a great job. Um, she also um, is, uh, has learned to be very reflective. Um, as an example, in Sec 1, they did a big, uh, in English class, they did a big project. It was called the Utopic Society. And with her teammates, uh, she had to uh, develop her own world with its own rules. And they had to make a maquette of their society. They had to present it to their classmates. And they also had to write a big essay about their, their project, their society. And they had to reflect on why are they choosing those rules. So I really like that aspect of it, because often we don't push our knowledge further in, in reflecting on why we make such and such decisions. Um, another thing that I really like, uh, uh, as part of the IB program, I'm, I really like that Emma is learning Spanish. Uh, we were in the store one day and she heard a conversation in Spanish and she was able to understand the conversation. I was just, I was just amazed. Um, I like too that uh, Emma chose the uh, Francais Langue Maternelle. Um, and as part of Francais Langue Maternelle, not only she has French in Francais, but also she has science, geography and history in French, so we are a bilingual family, so for me it's important. Uh, and all in all, I'm so happy that she joined that program. It's, uh, it fits her and um, it she'll, she'll continue growing uh, in this program in Sec 4 and 5, so she really made a good choice.